Hi guys, this is uh, Dr. Mohammed Usman and today I will be talking about data diagnostic and exploratory data analysis. Uh, this is basically the lecture 4 of the data visualization series and I will be talking about different topics in this lecture which will uh, one of them is data diagnostic, graphical methods, data transformation, incorporating statistical model, uh, hypothesis testing and using graphics and models in tandem. So basically first of all I will be starting about uh, with the data diagnostic and this lecture will cover up some examples of data diagnostic. So first of all I will be talking about some kind of data analysis. So if you have uh, this kind of table available uh, in form of image or data visualization what do you think what uh, things are missing in this table. If we talk about things we have year, population, property, crime rate and then bulk rate, uh, latency theft rate, motor theft, vehicle theft and other things in available in this data type. So basically when we talk about the data diagnostic we have to see that what is missing in that data and what is the problem with data. If you see actually this data you can see that the uh, labels are accurate but the data is moving up to the left end. So the population is mixed up with the property data, property data is mixed up with the crime rate data and similarly there will be some empty columns in our data. So when we talk about uh, this kind of data we have some kind of empty spaces and we have some kind of wrong data available. This kind of concept is called uh, data wrangling and uh, it needs to be manipulated prior to the analysis. So in data wrangling what we do we analyze the data tables and we analyze the visualization for any errors and we then reformat them, clean them and then we assess them for the quality and then we integrate them according to the requirement. So basically you will remove the data which is not good, which is not accurate, which is not related to that visualization. If there are uh, blank spaces available, you will remove that blank spaces. And some of the data wrangling approaches which are usually used are the writing custom script. Like when we are talking about data visualization, then we are talking about a software that will perform all these talks automatically because this is about big data. So in big data, there is a lot amount of tables and columns. So we need a software or a custom script that can do this data wrangling thing all the time. Uh, automatically and there are uh, custom software available and then there is uh, another uh, thing available that is the manual manipulation in the spreadsheet like you open the data in the spreadsheet and then you manipulate it according to the uh, uh, requirement and you have to analyze each of the column and each of the rows so this is a long time taking process so for this purpose we use the automatic custom scripts and there is our data wrangler which is also uh, developed by Stanford and which is uh, available on the internet easily you can download and work in it and then it, uh, another uh, defined by the Google that is called Google Refine. So basically we have already uh, software which find out errors in our data and which try to shape our data according to our requirement. So if the data is shaped according to our requirements then uh, the visualization will be good. So before uh, making up the visualization we need to gauge or measure the quality of that visualization and this is only possible when we have analyzed the data already and then you know about the data accurately what are the errors and it is cleaned or it is formatted according to requirement or not. It is not necessary that every data you get and you can make bar chart or pie chart or graph chart or it, it depends on the visualization and type of data what you can make from it and you have to reformat data according to every different visualization. So you will work on the uh, quality of the data by analyzing uh, and using the data ranking techniques. So what Martin says that uh, the good visualization show uh, use a problem in your data basically it will be telling about the visualization and it will be telling about that this data is not what it would be like if when you make up that visualization you will discover something new it will not be what you have thought so uh, this is accurately according to that uh, that every data can have a different kind of visualization and uh, you we can build up according to the requirements so uh, to know that how to gauge that quality of visualization i have some examples over him like this one uh, what do you think what is the quality of this visualization this is a kind of uh, uh, node point chart or we can also call it a bigger type of maps uh, and node link chart so what do you think uh, what kind of visualization is it is it and what is the uh, quality of this visualization do comment uh, below or uh, do comment uh, in the classroom and answer this question similarly like if you have this kind of data this, this is the matrix visualization what kind of visualization is present then how will you gauge the quality of this visualization so this is an important concept and you have to apply all the previous concept on this one to analyze the quality of this visualization and we will be learning further that how we can 
make those visualization more good and we can make them refine according to our uh, data or our requirements so that depends what is the requirement by us like in this one we have rolled over into the matrix visualization and we have zoomed in to know that what kind of data is available and uh, we have some refined some point but necessary it is not important that it is our requirement so we have to research and we have to discover according to our requirement so i have one example over here which is uh, the uh, basically related to the effective uh, data analysis and ex ex effective exploratory analysis of your data but before that you should be knowing that what is a mini missing data missing data is that you have no measurements you have redundancy in your data you have misspelled labels outliers and you have uh, data mixed up this one so this is just uh, the missing data enormous values are like huge values which are not according to uh, your data column or data variable like you are writing from 1 to 10 and all of a sudden 1 million comes in your data so basically one million is uh, certainly out of the range according to data then there is type conversion like you convert the zip code to the longitude or latitude or if there is a error of comma in your zip code then it's automatically served as a longitude or latitude so basically we have type conversion error we have entity resolution errors uh, these are for the different uh, values for the same type of data so basically when you have different values from for same time of data when you you will have this kind of error then we have data integration error like if you combine two different data then uh, it gives you some kind of uh, error and it will uh, b uh, will not be integrated with your visualization properly so we have to work on all these kind of uh, data integrations and data analysis uh, when we are talking about the discovering the visualization and this is the concept of exploratory data analysis and the lesson is that uh, you have to find out problems in your data and uh, you have to find out the search problem so basically if th there is a data and it has no problem in it basically the data is not good if there is problem in your data it means you can discover something new at the end when you make up the visualization so i will start by the example of the exploratory data analysis which is the effectiveness of the antibiotics and we will see that how we uh, check the uh, quality of that data available to us so basically when you have this kind of data available to you what question you can might ask the first concept in exploratory data analysis is that you have to ask questions from the data you have to build up question from the data that either what kind of things i can make up from this data like uh, if i talk about uh, one simple kind of example that uh, bacteria with the penicillin log like what is the penicillin amount in the bacteria or what is the uh, what type of bacteria has the greater amount of the penicillin or stero uh, uh, petomycin or neomycin or gram staining so that depends on what kind of column i am using uh, for developing our question similarly like if i make up another question like what kind of bacteria has more type of neocin uh, what kind of bacteria has uh, like uh, brucolo abortus bacteria has more penicillin or brucolo anthoresis has more penicillin so that depends on my requirement that what i want to compare in my visualization so uh, when we build up uh, these things like in form of visualization according to our research question then these things these uh, things will look like this one how do the bacteria group with respect to the antibiotic resistance we can have this kind of visualization then we can also work on that uh, on that if a bacteria is a uh, light on the 30 year later or uh, 20 year later then both of the concepts will be different so basically if you are using the same variable at the same place then you will have a different concept so when you make up any visualization you work on the different types of data available to you and you have to make sure the visualization you have made up is according to the requirements so first of all the concept of exploratory data analysis is that you have to make up questions on your visualization like similarly this one how do the bacteria group with respect to resistance do different drugs correlate so these are basically two different questions so exploratory data analysis work on establishment of different questions according to your data and to provide you analysis of your data so what we will be doing in uh, exploratory data analysis we will be constructing graphics to address our question we will try to first find out which graphics is related to our data and it is correct or wrong and to inspect that we will inspect the answer of that visualization basically we will inspect that visualization and we will access new questions if it is wrong then we will repeat all the, this process so basically we will be transforming the data appropriately according to our requirements and we will show data variation not the design variation that we have read already in the start uh, and this is also the principle principles of uh, graphical integrity which we have read uh, during in uh, our lecture and we have also said it so basically you have to remember that you have to show the data variation so exploratory data analysis will work on the data variation rather than the design variation so if you like my video you can visit my youtube channel and we will be in next video talking about another example of the exploratory data analysis and you can just uh, get a training certificate 
of uh, any video from my training channel and you can just uh, send me a message and these steps are as follow and there is another video uh, defining the complete steps